Greetings, my lords. Welcome to Update 10 of March of Empires. With this update, we've decided to further explore the possibilities of PvE. Healing tents are also on the menu, but first, let's jump into Alliance Raids and the terrifying Dark Citadel. Alliance Raids are a thrilling new game mechanic where you and your allies must work together to overcome impossible odds. If your united might is enough to vanquish the Dark Citadel, great rewards await you and your armies. So let's break down what they're all about. The first step is to collect keys. You'll get these by raiding camps, however, all keys are added to a pool shared by your alliance, so while you can hunt for keys by yourself, it's a lot easier and quicker if everyone helps. Once your alliance has enough keys, your alliance leader or a general can start the raid. Hit the Alliance Raid button to do so. Once begun, the Dark Citadel will spawn on an empty tile somewhere within your territory. An icon will appear on the menu screen showing all allies that a raid is currently active. Each player starts with one free rally for the raid and can purchase up to two more. However, there's no limit on the number of raid rallies a player can join. Each rally represents a single run against the Dark Citadel's defenses, which consist of 20 waves of bloodthirsty warriors. Your rallied forces will attack each wave one at a time, facing greater resistance with each victory. This will continue until your army is defeated or you manage to crush all 20 waves. The more waves your army overcomes, the more reward points your alliance will earn towards a final Alliance Raid reward. In addition, each player who joined the rally receives an immediate personal reward, also based on the number of waves defeated. Keep in mind that these rallies do not remove your peace shield. Also, your defeated units are not killed in these raids, but are instead sent to the temple to tend to their injuries. So feel free to throw your full might into each raid. Alliance raid rewards are based on the total reward points earned by your alliance throughout the raid. These come in a chest you can open after the raid is over, and can contain some of the most powerful champion equipment in the game, and a bunch of gold to top it off. A cooldown timer begins after each raid, telling you how long you must wait before launching a new one. Use this time to think over your strategy for next time, and start collecting keys. Healing tents are a new type of item that can instantly return units wounded in battle to fighting form. They come in various types that can heal a preset number of a specific troop tier. They can be quite the strategic edge when you need to replenish your numbers fast. To buy one, simply visit the shop and select the tent you need based on the quantity and troop tier you need. Alternatively, you can purchase them directly from the bundles that are on offer. We hope you'll enjoy this update, and as always, see you on the battlefield.